Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Men have power in relationships. This is very important because one of the sad things I'm seeing is many men acting, speaking, behaving as if they are powerless in these relationships. You know, talking about, oh, these modern women this, these modern women that, these 304s this. Look. Yes, women have the power of choice. Players will play, players and pimps will say women choose, but a man has to choose back. Remember, if you're talking about a relationship, you're both on that ship. It depends on who's like piloting the ship, that's all. But it's still two people. Like, I don't care what women do, I don't care what they say they want. As a man, you can agree or disagree with them. As a man, you could say, well, you want that, okay, fine. You know, you know. I remember when it was a, fam it was a famous person, I ain't gonna call his name, but he's a well-known name in a relationship field. And I saw him before he got really big back in the day. He was doing uh, a seminar at this uh, bookstore. It was at a local bookstore. And I remember with this, there was a young lady in the audience and she was like, she, she'd make a man wait a year before having sex with him. And he said, man, and the dude, he looked at her, it was like, yo, man, you're very attractive. We wouldn't get together. She started crying. But see, here's the thing with that. It wasn't like he was being mean. He was just giving his part of the thing. He had power. He didn't have to go with it. Cause you'll hear some men saying, well, she making me wait or, these women want money or something like that. Let me get on that money thing in a second. No, nah, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Like the money thing. I don't care how many women say they want a man who's making a half a million or something. The man has to agree. In most cases, he's not. He's, and now, yeah, you get some women, they'll try to shame the man into doing some stuff or they want to try to shame the man. Oh, he should. I don't have to do shit. You could look at that woman and say, nah, they, these are circumstances that I'm going to spend my time, my energy, my money, uh, give you my D under. Well, what's she going to do if she say, if she don't like it, what's she going to do? Because you get some guys out here acting like a woman forcing them to something. They ain't holding a gun to your head. You don't have to talk to them. You don't have to do anything. Indeed, Men had the power to the point if you, if collectively men said, well, women got to wear long skirts, long dresses down to the ankles. They got to be loose and they got to be a certain color and they have to have their hair a certain way and they can't wear makeup. Guess what most women going to do? They're going to do exactly that. They're going to do exactly that. Because talking with a lot of women, remember, I'm out here. I talked, I've been talking to women. <laughs> Since I was young to this day, have a third of my clients are women. A third of my clients are women. Now, if you tell these women a lot of stuff they do because the man wants them to do it. They don't want to see a lot of men don't want the power of a lot of women, like women getting these BBLs. They doing it because they think the man wants it. Now, a lot of men don't, but they think a man wants it. But for men, if you collectively say, nah, we don't like those. I guarantee that business goes out the door. That business, hey, people providing those services, they're gonna have to find some other services. If some, if you get collectively some men saying nah. But see, a lot of times what's happening is a lot of men are letting the women get away with some stuff and not saying what they really want because, you know, they want the pussy. In fact, women shouldn't even like that, really. Women shouldn't like that because, you know, when a guy just wants sex, he gonna let the woman get away with everything as long as he getting the sex. But then he, she might say, well, we ain't going to do this. Like you, sometimes you hear, well, the women, they should just hold back until the men do this. Well, sex is a two way street. A man can say, well, until y'all start doing this, we're going to hold back the D. Oh, we can hold back the money, too. Shoot, we actually got an advantage. We got two things that women be chasing for in men. Even with acculturated prostitutes, if you get a bunch of men saying, nah, honey, I'm not trading my money for just some sexual attention from you, that'll stop. But see, men had to understand the power 
that we have. See, that's the, that's where the problem is. You know, a lot of men don't realize, hey, that woman wants you just as bad. Yeah, like I said, you got plenty of them that come on and try to act like, oh no, you ain't this, you ain't that. Okay. If you encounter a woman like that, well, men ain't this or that, then be like, why are you trying to get with us then? See, that's you gotta call it. See, some men will try to prove it. Oh no, I'm not like those other men. Just be like, okay, you don't want us. Okay then. Yeah, shoot. My dick stay in my pants, my wallet stay in my back pocket. Okay? Because you have the power. See, understand something. What do I always say? First, a man's main relationship is with himself. He need to look for his needs, what he wants. And if that woman isn't providing it, don't change yourself up just for her. You only change in any change, any development you have is really because of the relationship with yourself. Even with a body game. A couple days ago, I said you want to work on your best body for your own personal health. For your own personal health. Now, to impress a woman, because one, you don't know which body impresses her anyway. Two, you got to live with yourself 24 7. But you have that power. And then if a woman going, you're going to spend your time with a woman. Or even for those who don't, you know, you got plenty of guys, they don't mind uh, going 100%. If you're going to provide for that woman, if you're going to project, protect that woman, she need to be on your program. You know, you got that power because you're providing what she wants. You, if you're providing, like all these women saying, well, yeah, he got to have a half a million. Okay, you got a half a million. Let's say, hold up, baby, hold up. Hold up. For this half a million, this is what you got to do. You got the power. But see, you got too many men, they're giving the shit away. Even the dick, even the dick, giving that shit away. Make a woman work for your dick. Because when you're getting with a woman, right, you having sex with her, shoot, you can change her entire body with your dick. Shit, you bringing her that pleasure and stuff. You need to appreciate your dick to that point. Even that, you got the power there. In fact, when you look at the men, uh, I refer to them as Mr. Goodbar, that's really their main part of their game. They don't, they make a woman work for everything. They don't chase them. They make them work for everything. A woman got work, she got, hey, she got to bring a plate, something. She got to do something for that man. Every man need to realize their own power. You go a long way to getting what you want in a relationship. Because ultimately, if you're going, first of all, look at it like this. If you're going, you part of that relationship, you want that shit too. You need to be getting what you want. If you're not getting what you want, she can call you a jerk, she can try to shame you and everything, but it's like, hold up. I'm not getting what I want out of this. You know? I'm not getting what I want. And you ain't being mean or anything like that. You're a part of that. That's you right there. That's your time. You're not going to violate your relationship with yourself if she ain't going to do right. I want y'all to think about that. I want y'all to really think about, understand you have power. That's the whole thing. Your main relationship is with yourself. You're developing yourself so you can have life. If this woman wants to share in the life or she wants you for whatever reason, understand you want power. Or if you want that woman, you still got power. Regardless of how you look at it, a relationship is two people. You on that ship with her. You gotta understand, you need to get what you want out of it. And you got the power to. And if she don't agree or whatever, okay, let her go. Four billion women in the world. There's plenty who probably will agree or agree with your position and respect your power and your decisions, all right? So, that's all I have for now. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.